Every jersey number is its own team. These are the best teams. Let's begin with the even numbers. Number 8, Team 14. We have Oscar Robertson, the Hall of Famer Tim Hardaway, Zach Levine, Brandon Ingram, and Mark Gasol. Mr. Triple Double with all of these scoring options, he's gonna get like 20 assists per game. This is literally an all-star team and they're only number eight. Number seven, team four. We have 2016 Isaiah Thomas. Andre Iguodala when he was an all-star, Gotti Barnes, Charles Barkley, and Steven Adams. We have two superstars, one all-star, and the other two guys fit perfectly. Imagine the pick and roll between Isaiah Thomas and Steven Adams, who is the strongest player in the NBA. Number six, Team 32. Who would have guessed 32 would have been a good team? Who do they even have? Magic Johnson, Richard Hamilton, Dr. J, aka Julius Irving, Carl Malone, and Carl Anthony Towns. This team is already better than any team in the NBA right now. Magic Johnson was one of the best players in the 80s, Julius Irving was one of the best players in the 70s, and Carl Malone was one of the best players in the 90s. Not only is this team balanced, but it has one player from every generation. Number 5, Team 2. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard, Blake Griffin, and Kevin Garnett. There are no old guys on this team. All of them are from this generation. We have three of the best players when they have the ball in their hands. You can't double team all of them. One of them is going to score. Number four, Team Kobe, AKA Team 24. We have Andre Miller, the Black Mamba Kobe Bryant, Paul George, Rick Barry, who was a Hall of Famer, and Joel Embiid. Andre Miller is one of the most underrated point guards in NBA history because he didn't score a lot, but he's an amazing passer. And when you have all of these scorers, all he needs to do is pass the ball. Rick Barry was one of the best scorers in NBA history, and the craziest thing is Joel Embiid. He only wore the number 24 for one game in honor of Kobe Bryant. So even though he wore it for one game, he was incredible that game. So he's included in the team. Moving on to the top three, the championship contenders. Number three, team six. We have Jamal Crawford. We have the 1980 Julius Irving. This is when he was on the 76ers. His prime. LeBron James today. Kristaps Porzingis. And 1968, the oldest player so far, Bill Russell. Between Porzingis and Bill Russell, imagine the rebounding. Imagine the defense. They're gonna dominate the league. And in case you don't think Jamal Crawford is a big deal, this guy scored 20 points a game off the bench. Now as a starter, Jamal Crawford can finally be a superstar. And for LeBron, we could either use the Miami Heat LeBron or current LeBron James. Current LeBron has a higher IQ because he's older, but you know what? Let me get Miami Heat LeBron. That was probably the best version of LeBron we've ever seen. And there's still two even number teams better than this? How? Number two, team 12, John Morant, Michael Jordan, Tobias Harris, Lamarcus Aldridge, and Prime Dwight Howard. Wait, why is Michael Jordan wearing 12? One game, somebody stole Michael Jordan's jersey, so he had to wear number 12. It was the only time he used number 12, and he played amazing. So yes, he gets to be included on the team. Prime Dwight Howard is one of the best centers in NBA history, and Lamarcus Aldridge was a seven-time All-Star. This team has all the talent. And number 
one, wait, just for fun, let me show you the worst team of the even numbers. The worst team would be Team 40. We have Aaron Aflalo, Michael Finley, Harrison Barnes, 1996 Sean Kemp, and Udonis Haslam. It's a respectable team, but compared to all these other lineups, it's trash. And number one, Team 34. At point guard, we have Kemba Walker. I know, not the best start, but watch this. 2005 Ray Allen. Current Giannis Antetokounmpo. 1998 Hakeem Olajuwon. And prime Shaquille O'Neal. But if you thought these were good, they are nothing compared to the odd numbers. Number 8. Team 11. We have 1988 Isaiah Thomas. No, the other Isaiah Thomas. Clay Thompson, DeMar DeRozan, RV Da Sabonis, the father of DeMontis Sabonis, who was a Hall of Famer, and Yao Ming. Team 11 can play defense. Every single player is an elite defender. And the most underrated part is Yao Ming. Yao Ming only played eight seasons, but he was an all-star every season. Number seven, team three. This team is better than almost all the even numbers, and they're only number seven. CP3. But no, I have a better idea for point guard. Allen Iverson. 2012, Dwayne Wade. 2010, Tracy McGrady. Domantis Sabonis when he was on the Thunder. And Anthony Davis. How do you guard a team with AI, Dwayne Wade, and Tracy McGrady? Three of the best ball handlers in NBA history. But the more important question is how are they only number seven? Because it just gets crazier. Number six. Team 7! We have Penny Hardaway, Jalen Brown, Prime Carmelo Anthony when he was on the Knicks, Kevin Durant last year, and 2005 Al Jefferson. We have three players that could drop 40 points a game any day. Al Jefferson is a future Hall of Famer. This guy was scoring 20 points a game as a center. If only we had prime Penny Hardaway, but he wore a different number in his prime. Numero cinco, which is five if you don't speak Spanish. Team 21, Drew Holiday, 1991, Dominique Wilkins. 2019, Jimmy Butler, Tim Duncan, and Joel Embiid. Yes, Joel Embiid returns because this is his actual number he wears every game. We have two of the best big men in the entire history of the NBA. This team is a complete team. They are balanced, but they need one more superstar if they want to be a contender. Number four. Team 13, 2006, Steve Nash, 2016, James Harden, Paul George, Jaron Jackson Jr., and are you ready for this? 1965, Wilt Chamberlain, who averaged 50 points a game. Steve Nash is one of the best passers in NBA history. James Harden was in his MVP season on the Rockets. And the other two guys are great, but it is Wilt Chamberlain that makes this team number four. And there are three teams better than this? How? Moving on to the top three, the championship contenders. Number three. Team 1, we have 2010 Derrick Rose, Devin Booker, Tracy McGrady returns, but this time it's the 2000 Tracy McGrady, Zion Williamson, and 2012 Chris Bosh. Prime Derrick Rose almost won a championship with an average team. But now Prime Derrick Rose has all of these stars. And the mo 
most underrated part is Tracy McGrady. Because when he was on the Raptors, he had the best seasons of his career. This is the most athletic team of the video. But there are two teams that are better than them. Number two, Team 33. I'm shocked that there are numbers in the 30s that are so good. But for some reason, so many stars wore 33. We have 1999 Stefan Marbury, 1988 Scotty Pippen, Larry Bird, 1970 Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and 2010 Shaquille O'Neal. Oh my goodness, the defense is Spectacular! We have two of the best scorers in NBA history! This team is simply unbelievable! But there is one team that beats them! Number one! Wait, let me just show you the worst team of the odd numbers. The worst team would be Team 5! What a surprise! It's such a low number, you would think so many stars wore it. But no! <laughs> Point guard De'Aaron Fox! 2016 J.R. Smith, Paolo Banchero, 2008 Prime Kevin Garnett, and 1986 Bill Walton. Okay, this team is pretty good for a worse team. It just shows how stacked the teams are when you sort them by jersey number. And number one, the moment you've all been waiting for, Team 23. We have Pete Maravich, Prime Michael Jordan, Prime LeBron James, Draymond Green, and 2015 Anthony Davis. The NBA Finals would be Team 34 versus Team 23. And Team 23 would win in seven games. 